Hello and welcome to the Tigre Pump channel. In this video I'll be doing a review and demo of Asteria Hair Flash Sale. If you would like to hear my thoughts on this item then please keep watching. Okay, I took part in Asteria Hair Flash Sale and I had gotten the three 14 inches, as you can see here, 180 density. And uh, my total came up to 165. Um, right here, I'm just showing you a receipt of the items that I purchased. The ask me here if my, um, my address is correct, which I replied that it is. And um, they're gonna send me uh, my items. Uh, the one person uh, they call her Echo she was surprised or whatever and I'm like yeah I did purchase three of the same uh, type of wig um, I've never ordered from Asteria hair before so I was using this as an example to try out their products I believe that the uh, shipping came at a reasonable time so I wasn't dissatisfied or overly happy about it okay so when I got the hair I didn't believe that it was real so this is our correspondence as far as like um, whether it was synthetic or blend or whatever and basically they told me that it was human hair so there's that Okay, right here I'm just showing you the contents of what I received in the mail. I got three headbands because I had three wigs. So each wig comes with one headband. And I'm going to try it on for you in a second. But right now we're just going to open up the package and see what we got in the inside. Okay, I've attached a clip of me uh, trying it on, and uh, I'm gonna be honest with you, it's a little too tight for my head, but it does the job as far as like, keeping hair out of your face and whatnot. also got three of these bags here for each one for each head and here is the hair in its package its original package I hadn't opened it yet we're gonna open it together okay right here I'm just opening up the package um, I'm not sure if you remember from the correspondence this hair cannot be colored or anything so basically it's like uh, st store hair like a uh, beauty supply store here where you know you can't really do much of anything unless you get like uh, the light colored hair you can use a semi on it here I'm just showing you the construction of the inside of the cap uh, me personally I uh, thought the hair looked very shiny and artificial and to say it's human hair um, I wasn't very sure of that so uh, right now we're just taking a close-up my next shot is a close-up of what it looks like on the inside you can see the uh, combs and everything in here you can also take a look at the, the, the little uh, strap thing that like secures it in the back. You can see that right there. Okay, this is what it looks like when you try to, well, I tried the wig on. Um, it's, it's nice, uh, but it's very thin. It barely um, fits my particular head size. Uh, so I'm just giving you a view of the front and the back. And hopefully you can see the bottom. And I'm also going to tip my hair so you can see the top. Right here I'm just showing you how far the cap goes on my head. Um, it's very small, barely covers anything. So um, I plan on doing something about that. Uh, right now I'm just showing you how everything looks. 
hair right here, I'm just putting the hair on the um, canvas blockhead and I'm combing the hair through. And we're gonna get a look at what we got going on here. Just a reminder, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks. Okay, right here I'm gonna test the hair. Um, I believe the iron is at 360, and it straightens pretty good, and it hasn't melted or anything like that. It comes out very silky and everything. Okay, I don't have a lighter, but I do have matches. So I'm gonna use this to test uh, the hair, doing the burn test. So I'm gonna snip a little piece. I don't light the entire wig up. Um, so this is the sample that I'm gonna use to um, test the hair. Okay, right here, I'm gonna strike the match and I'm gonna light the hair. Whew, wasn't that something? But uh, yeah, look, um, it didn't have, it didn't melt. It actually does turn into ash. Uh, just giving you a, a look at what we got going on here. Up next, I'm gonna show uh, when I run it between my fingers and you can see the ash here, so it is indeed, indeed human hair. Okay, I'm pretty sure you're wondering why I bought all these wigs and I was talking to a brother of mine and he was mentioning maybe I could sell them online. Uh, Bay's cousin, she had mentioned it to me and I thought maybe it might be a good idea. So just between us, uh, I had been looking over uh, mannequin heads, um, how much it would cost for packaging. I haven't gotten a chance to go to the postal office to ask them how much it would cost for shipping and everything. Um, just kind of doing basic research because I have been entertaining the idea of selling the wigs. Um, so that's what I've been um, considering lately. Right here, I'm just showing you what I had looked up online for the average size of a woman's head. Uh, I've even um, checked out a, a few uh, YouTubers here. Um, these are great YouTubers. I learned a lot as far as like um, marketing and whatnot. So I uh, just keep a lookout for that. Okay, just my opinion. Uh, I think this wig is very small 
the tracks and everything it's very thin uh, it's very shiny it looks fake um, would I recommend it no unless you buy two and you're planning on stacking them as far as testing out the hair you saw me do the burn test and it passed I did a flat iron test and it passed I haven't had a chance to flat iron it yet but I'm gonna do it in some subsequent videos um, right here I have in the description down below a serious playlist so please check that out concerning this hair and what I've done to it don't forget to like comment and subscribe and as always thanks for watching